e to the tangent x is a composite function, so to take its derivative we'll need the chain rule, which I've written here. The derivative of f of g is f prime of g times g prime, so we need to identify our f, the outside function, and our g, the inside function. In this case, it's clear that tangent is inside the exponential function, and so that's g. Meanwhile, the exponential is f. So f of x equals e to the x, and g of x equals tangent x. Now we can apply the chain rule to find the derivative of e to the power of tangent x. We need to begin with f prime, the derivative of the outside function, and leave that g of x, the inside function, unchanged f is e to the x, and the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x, so we just have e to the, don't change the inside function, we gotta leave it as tangent x. But then we multiply by g prime, the derivative of that inside function. The inside function is tan x, and the derivative of tangent of x is secant squared x. And that's how to find the derivative of e to the tangent x. In general, the derivative of e to the power of some function u is just e to the u times the derivative of u by the chain rule. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus 1 course and Calculus 1 exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.